Make some be out today. I look around, you guys. I look around, try to make sure. I don't see anything out here. Cause you just never know. Sometimes them snakes be laying right up in there. Get right back to that water. All right, so I was standing over here and I was casting down here. So I'm gonna stand right in this area. I'm not keeping no fish at all. I'm just out here to see if I can make a quick video. So gather them, got my red worms here. I'm fishing with my Shakespeare Micro Series. Light action, seven foot rod. I'm fishing with a HK3000, um, gold sharking reel, six pound test line, cricket hook. I think I supposed to have been showing a follower how to set this uh, slip bobber up. So I got to make a video doing that soon. And I'm about two feet deep. So let's see what happens. Let's see if they st if they still here. Maybe not, but we'll see. I start out with a good good piece of worm here. The Tyson. You don't really need this much worm, you guys, honestly. But I want to use that up. All right, so I'm going to cast right in front of me. And hopefully you guys can see the barber shoot under. See if it stands up. There we go. Let's see what happens. And we got a bite that quick. That quick, you guys. Same thing, old male. Blue gear, number one. Fishing right there on the edge of the, of the oh, that's a nice one too. They pretty, man. Now, I, I like bluegill because they are very, very, very pretty fish. Thick. Very pretty. Should be a male. Watch this. See that peak going, coming out? See I'm pissing? You see I'm pissing? Yep. Getting ready for the spawn. So this one, ladies and gentlemen, can go back. And we should be able to drop right back in there, all up and down this area, you guys. It's not just right. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna throw right here. I caught that one over there. I'm gonna throw right here. This is the bed. So, if they here, they should be all up and down this area, not just right there in that one area. I might have to toss over just a little bit then, right here. Let's see. And you might have to go off a little bit. So you see that not fast? You see that's not fast? So you out of that bed. Now watch this. Step over. There we go. Got, oh, he got off. He got off. I don't know if you guys saw that. He got off. I'm going to make the, I'm, I'm gonna make this video. I don't think I'm going to even edit this video. I don't think. Yeah, he got him. God, dog. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm trying to con concentrate with you guys. And all right, let me uh, let me fix this worm here. I gotta get that off. There we go. All right, let me get my little hook set going so you guys can see. There we go. Got him. Ooh, that's a good one. He's fighting like a son of a gun. All right. There you go. Another male, ladies and gentlemen. 
another male. I'm going to show you here. See, see my pinion? There you go. All right, we're going to get right back in there. And now what we're going to do, we're going to toss down. I just want to see how big this bed is. We're going to toss over this way. Now we're going to go over that way a little bit and see if it goes under. And there we go. There we go. See, they all over here. Ooh, they are pretty, pretty fish. All males. I didn't catch a single female yesterday. Watch this. Pen. Yep. I didn't catch a single. A pretty, very pretty. Now, they're not massive, but they are take home. You can take them home and eat them. So, guys, these are not massive bluegills, but they, you know, probably six inch bluegills. You can take them home, cut them the old way, clean them with the head on or head off, but just, you know, they're not the half pounder, but these are good bluegills anywhere you want. Got high winds out here in Dallas, and, and they're still going strong, you know. The fish are warm. So, that cold front last night really didn't do anything. I actually, I got my, my, my mud boots on, you guys, so I feel safe. All right, so now we're going to toss on down a little bit more. I want to see how far this little bluegill bed goes and bring up a little bit closer. Is it just a little spot that's about eight feet wide or is it all up and down this shoreline? So not getting a bite as fast. There we go. There we go. Now they right here. Now this might be the female. Yep, that's the female right there, you guys. That's the female bluegill. And you can see she got the big belly. She's full of eggs. She got the big belly. The blue around the gills right here. Hey girl, go ahead and get off. But you can see the blue that's around the gills. And she got the fat belly. And she just got a different look than the males. Oh, shoot. Let me go and get it in there. There we go. So I caught her on the outside out there. So let's go down a little bit more. I'm just, I'm just scouting. I'm tossing down now even further. Let's see if it shoots under. Something messing with it. There we go. I made that joke hit that. This might be another. That's a male. Ooh, they are pretty. This is a red breast. I think they call these red breasts. Maybe. Or it could just be a bluegill. But pretty colors. And I'm going to show you some male. See that pea coming out? I mean, well, that ain't pea, but you know what it is. That ain't pea, but you know exactly what that is. All right, let's see. Now, this one might, I hope, hopefully can make it, but we'll see. May not make it, you guys. No, it might, might make it. I don't see no blood. Go back in. This is the same worm. That's about what, eight, eight, eight bluegills? Same piece of worm. I haven't, I haven't got no worm. This is live action right here, you guys. Now, let's go back right here in front of me. It shouldn't take long at all. Shouldn't take long at all. Let's go right here. Let's see what happens. Go, got him. Set that hook on him. Got him. Uh, another. Da, 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 da. Ooh, that's a fatty right there. This is a fat one. This is a good one. That's a knife. Been down there, gonna beat up a little bit, but he's down there getting ready. Got some weight on him, too. Got some little size on him, kind of thick. See, with this, with this cricket hook, it's super long, so it, you don't get too many, you know. Where he, he's swatting the hook or nothing, but every once in a while you will. And if you don't wait when they get to moving that bobber, if you don't wait, that's how you keep him from swatting that hook. But that's a good one, you guys. That's a very good one.
Same piece of worm, kind of beat up now, so I might go to a, another piece, but I'm going to show you, you, you can go with that little piece of worm there and still catch uh, bluegills. Them things are, they are non-stop. All right, so throw it right out there. That, that slip bobber, the weight fall down, the weight, the uh, bobber stands up. You can change the depth if you want to, to get in deeper water. And there we go. There we go, you guys. There we go. They are very beautiful fish. They're very healthy. All of them are thick. See how fat their body is? They're all thick. They're not big fish, but they got meat on them. So they're all healthy, healthy fish. All right, so let me say something right quick first. We keep going. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the time of the year, right? So this is the time of the year. It's about to be May and start looking for the bluegills. Different ponds gonna have different size bluegills. You might find a pond that got them half pounders. You won't know until you go and fish that body of water. It could be a small body of water that has some of the biggest bluegills you've ever seen. And then every once in a while it's gonna be average, five to six inches, maybe seven. But you get to eight, nine, and 10, you got big bluegill. So get your bobber, get your rod, go ahead and just start fishing the edges of the, of the banks, right? But don't cast way out there, just cast on the edge and, and fish about a foot deep or two feet deep and you'll see what kind of bluegills in those ponds. So thanks for watching this video, hang it in right quick. So let's keep it going. We're gonna see if we can get us some more bluegill smoke, which I know we will because this is where they at. All right, so we're gonna still go with that same piece of worm. One piece of worm right now, that's how we're going with. And um, you'll see here. There we. I, I knew he had it. <laughs> now this is, oh, look at this little baby. What are you doing down there with the big bars? So he, he tapped and I, and I accidentally uh, snagged him. All right, you see that worm? It's a little bitty piece of worm, you guys. That's all it is. Let's get back out there. You see I'm right by the bank, so I'm not far away at all. Now it's starting to slow down, so I'm gonna put another piece of worm on after this next catch here. There we go. Oh boy. He was swimming off with it. There we go, you guys. So you see how, oh, that's a good one. He's pulling, ooh, he's pulling like crazy. Ooh, that's a nice one. Big old male there. Big old male, you guys. Pretty little fish. But you see how uh, I'm not letting that bobber go under the water because if you do, they're gonna swallow that hook. You're gonna kill a lot of these fish. So when that bobber start moving just a little bit, go down or move subtle, set that hook. You got them, trust me. And that is a pretty fish. They are they are they are nice out here. You see the male, you see that blue, you see that blue around the mouth? This is a bluegill. To me the males are kind of similar to copperhead. But this cricket hook is no joke. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna take this old this little last piece of worm off and put another piece on there. And you guys, some of y'all don't know what a cricket hook is. You can get it from Walmart, but this is what a cricket hook is. It's got a long shaft on it. And I like to fish with them because the bluegill, much like that, you're going to straighten that out. And if they eat it, you got a long shaft, so you can actually get it out of their mouth easy. You won't be swallowing it. So let's go with a new piece of worm. I got, I got a thing full, so I won't use too many of them, actually. So I'm going to go home in the freezer or in the fridge and I'm going to put this one on there. The whole thing. I'm going to put the whole thing on there. I need to use them up anyway. So I wonder if there's anything about this broken broken little concrete right there. Let's, let's toss out here and see if anything will hit right here. Or they just didn't want in this one area over by me. Let's 
So you see how it's, it, you're not, I'm not getting no bites right there? That bed is right over, that bed is over this way, in this area. Ain't getting no bite. Now, as soon as I toss in this area right here where I'm at, right here, watch, I should get a bite real quick. This is where that bed at. And you can come closer to the land. I can bring up right there, yeah. So I need to go a little bit farther over. Just remember where you were tossing at. There we go, probably right here. Just remember where you were tossing at. They're not super, well they active, but, but when they get super active, soon that bobber hit the water, <coughs> it'll be gone when they get super active. And I'm not gonna lie to you, when they when they super active, as soon as they hit the water, they are gone. See there? He was just down there sitting with it. He only, they're only in about a foot of water, you guys. That's a good one. You saw that rod bending? That's a, that's, this is a heavy, heavy, uh, heavy male right here. Ooh, he is nice. Look at thick, look how thick that male is. That is a very thick from the top to bottom. Even the top part there is thick. That's a lot of that's a lot of good meat right there. Short and stubby. That's a lot of good meat right there. Nice. Nice one. Alright. We're gonna let we're gonna throw that one right there, just like that. So I'm gonna bring it down even more. I might be too deep. Okay, now I'm about a foot. If that. Yeah, I'm about a foot. Okay, there we go, right there. Now I can see that car shoot under the water when they get it. There we go. Ooh, he got that worm though. I know that. See that right there? He cleaned that. He, he took that whole worm off. There we go, you guys, give me another one. I'm gonna thread it on there good. Thread it on there. See, I'm going through it. So I'm threading it on, there we go. Now, let's see if we can redeem ourselves, which we should. Let me, uh, hold on. I'll, I'll go back to that regular depth I had if I don't get down real quick. They might want it to be, to be sitting on the bottom a little bit. All right, so now, let me go back to that depth that I had. Let me just put this up. Just You move this little uh, tie string up a little bit. That's how you adjust your depth. This little bead that slides up, the weight slides up, and it stops right there. And that's about two feet. So now, I don't know if it's two feet actually. It might be about a little bit closer to two foot. Now we're gonna just drop it out there. Let me go down a little bit. Oh. Let me go down. Right there. See what happened. Okay, slowing down a little bit. Let me try another spot down here. Let me toss on down some. There we go. Toss on down that way. There we go. Set the hook on them. Went on down a little bit. Got another one. Now this one right here, I called them, yesterday I called that one a pumpkin seed, but it's not a pumpkin seed. It's a long ear sunfish. They kind of similar to a pumpkin seed. They pretty. These are one of the prettiest ones, actually. That ear it's pretty long and got a little bit of orange right there to it but it's not a pumpkin seed though and i would love to go and catch pumpkin seeds one day up north <clears throat> i don't think we have them down here <clears throat> so let's 
So I, I'm t now I'm tossing down a little bit further. You can probably go all up and down this concrete and catch bluegill. I mean, uh, down this uh, side here and catch them. All right, so let me toss down a little bit. Have I wiped them out? Let me toss down. Okay. Now I, I toss way down by 30, 40 feet. And I'm just going to come back to me and see if I see it, you know, tap or move or go under anything. There we go. So, got them. Got them. They all up and down this place, you guys. That joker is pulling, boy. He look, now, that blue, ooh, that's a pretty one right there, boy. Bluegill got pound, got up to about four or five pounds. Lord have mercy. You be thinking you putting it in a tank. They pretty. They all up and down this thing. There you go. You guys seeing it in live action. It's not edited or nothing. They are all up. Uh, I might have got too close to the land then. But they are all up and down this shoreline. There we go. We're going to toss back out. We're going to wait to see what happens. You can bring it back. You can reel it real slow. Just move it a little bit until you see it start, you know, twitching or bobbing, whatever you're going to do. Now, in a couple of weeks, when it get 80 to some degree, 90, oh, man, it's going to be on. I missed him. He got all that worm. Look at there. I'm going to show you guys. Look at there. A little old bitty piece of worm on there. A little old bitty piece of worm. So I can take this off. I got plenty of them, so losing losing a little piece of meat ain't gonna do nothing. Oh, over going with with a worm ain't gonna do nothing either. So these things are two dollars at Walmart, and uh, they'll get you way. I, I don't got my money worth with just the fish I caught. If I were keeping, okay, I got tanked up. There we go. So let's see what happened down that way. Let's see if anything shoots that under. Now I'm thinking about, oh, I'm thinking about uh throwing out a little bit further and going down about four feet to see if any big boys or, or bigger fish is out that way. But I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. I'm, I'm gonna try something else again. Y'all don't see, I'm going to go to about four feet. Let's get this grass off of here. And I'm going to toss out just a little bit. Out that way. There we go. It stands up. Okay. I'm going to see if anything is out there. Probably not, though. So it's not standing up now. All right. I got hung on something. Going back to that regular depth. There we go. All right. Let's drop back in front of me right here. See if anything is hanging off right here. Right there, about a couple feet from the bank. So you see how it died down. Now this little spot, I might not caught them all. Threw them back, you know. Kind of made them move around a little bit. Now you just want to. Now you want to move around. You want to get this spot a little break. Y'all come back in here, but you just want to give it a little break. See, I'm getting a bite down there. Those are a little 
smaller fish down there. There we go, I got them. Well, no, they're not smaller fish. They're just pulling. The same, the same fish, the same quality. And he swallowed that hook because I let him bounce around with it. But that was on me. Let's see if I can get this out of here. The fish, is, the fish are warm. There you are. I think I got it out of here. There we go. So the fish are very warm. Ooh, he took out. He was mad at me. Let me put another piece of worm on here. There we go. YouTube, please, if you're looking for a nice channel, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, family friendly. And uh, I love fishing. So, especially crappies and bluegills. So, let's see what happened here. We're going to get right back out there. There we go. Getting a bite. Got him. Said that. You saw that? Ooh, that was a nice hook set. You see how he pulling? He boiled down that big. Ooh, Lord. This little punk. Ooh, this is a nice one right here. Oh, this is a big uh, long ear. This is the biggest. This is the biggest long ear I have ever seen. I have ever caught. I pumped. They're always small. That is a huge one. You guys. And thick, solid. Look at that. Pretty, pretty fish. Real fat. Juicy. Man, that is a very, very nice fish. That is a very, very pretty fish. All right. So you see how if you if you if you get um slow down in one area, just toss on down a little bit further where you're at. Cause they'll be all up and down the shoreline. Once you find that bed, they'll be all around. You just gotta work your work your way up and down it. And sometimes you gotta wait on the bite, you know. You gotta get them going. But now when summertime hit, you ain't got how to get them going. As soon as that bobber hit the water, you can get ready. That was a nice, nice uh, longer. It looked just like a pumpkin seed. Orange with them pretty, them, that pretty orange color with them dots. There we go. Now it's out way down there, you guys. I'm talking about way down there. Yep, got a bite. Got him. Got him. Got him, coach. Come on. Ooh, that's pretty. They all good size out here. They all fat. See what I say? Fat, I'm talking about right here. See how that's thick? The little neck part getting kind of fat right up under there, and the body is is fat. They're not big, so they're not eight inches, but they're they're thick. They take homes. All right. See if we can get that out of there. Now, sometimes it just you, it, it just ain't gonna, it ain't gonna happen. So you just gotta do what you gotta do. But he'll make it. Yeah, they take it off. Ain't none of them coming up floating. Ain't none of them coming up swirling around, you know. They'll take it off and they're heading on back to where they're going. So now, you guys see me. I'm not catching in front of me. I'm casting down, catching fish. And I actually caught that one a little bit further down than where I'm at now. Now, I can walk down there. I can do that, you know. But sometimes I like uh, I like to feel in the I like to feel the uh, the pool. I like to feel that pool. I didn't take that tag off, but I ain't gonna worry about it right now. I'm gonna take it off later. I didn't cast down far enough where I caught that fish at. Let me go and reel it in. I was down there. There we go. And I was further off. I was further off on the land. So I was just trying to see if something's going to hit it right there. Closer. 
Nah, I was further off on the land. A little bit further off than that. All right, I guess I'll take that. Let's see if that goes under, which it should. Now you can also get a 116 ounce jig head and cast out there and you'll get bites too. But the bobber action is good for right now. Seeing that bobber shoot under. There we go. I think I was like right in that area. Don't slow down. All right, now let me toss back in front of me. Let's see if uh, have, have they moved back in. That I'll catch them right in front of me. Let's see if they move back in yet. I think I'm too deep. Uh, no, I don't see no grass on my on my, on my uh, worm. All right, I'm gonna try to get one more fish, you guys, and I'm gonna call it a day. So I want you guys to see one more fish if I can get it. I'm gonna call it a day. And that pumpkin, that uh, pumpkin seed, that long ear might have been the last one if I don't get one. Here we go. There we go, you got last fish of the day. And that's a good one too. You see how they pulling out in that open water? They getting out of there, ooh. They're still right there. It's probably a whole bunch of fish right there. That's a pretty one. That's a pretty one. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the fish to end the day. That is the fish. Thick, all of them are thick. Six, seven inches. And um decent, very, very healthy fish. I'm so addicted to fishing, you guys, that I didn't release that fish the right way. He fell off. Gotta get another one. That's how addictive I am. I gotta get another one. I gotta take it off and drop him in the water. So let's see how long this takes. In the summertime, when it get a little bit warmer, the months of uh, mid May, June, July, you will fill your bucket up. You fill a bucket up out here. You, you try and catch a hundred bluegill. Easy. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I don't caught about twenty. And there was a cold front last night. I'm pretty sure I done got about 20 fish. Maybe I should have went off of that last one there. Maybe I should have went off of that last one I just missed, you guys. Let's see. Come on, come on. Do right for YouTube. Do right for my followers. Maybe they're done. Maybe they are done, YouTube. Let me kind of cast all the way down there. Oh, that way down there. There we go. And then let me just slow really back and see if that bobber twitch or do anything I'm supposed to do. 
and we'll get you guys one. That did. All right, time for me to rock and roll. I was hoping I could have got one. I'll try right here in front of me. See if that cart goes under. Nothing. They might have done died down in us. They might have done died down. Slow down big time, you guys. They don't came to an end. Yeah, let me ready to go. go you guys last one right here last one guys I set that hook on that joke something big jumped out there last one a day there we go took me a while to get that one but there we go even that one is thick and it's a little smaller but you see how thick that body is all right we out of here take this All right, YouTube, that's it, YouTube. Been out here probably, my 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 phone says I've been out here 38 minutes, and that's nonstop action from the time I started to the, to the time I'm leaving. So that's non-edited, this, this video. So you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I appreciate you guys. Hope everyone have a blessed Sunday night and start the work week off right. And um, hopefully, uh, we got a cold front all this week, so it's gonna be in the 60s, I think, and cool in the morning time so i don't know about them croppies i'm gonna try to get some for you guys but i know y'all love to watch my cropping videos i get more views on those but this weather just been up and down and been kind of just crazy so and the hot winds and i want to start getting back in my two-man boat but i'm gonna start bringing some blue gear videos and hopefully i start bringing some big blue gear videos where you guys will really enjoy too i got one more spot that i'm gonna try to show you guys for croppies if the weather's allowed and um I heard there's two pound crappies in there, so I'll be showing that spot soon. So y'all have a blessed day. Stay peace. Thanks for watching.